So in 2022, there's been some new guidelines, modified, changed. Tell us about uh, how you made those changes and why. The, the new composition guidelines were announced early this past summer. And the reason that those were put together were to help clarify uh, for families trying to figure out which association their child was eligible to play with. And it also made it easier for the associ association leaders to determine if a player uh, was eligible to play with their association or not. We started this process even during the previous season. And we were working with a smaller group of our MYBA Basketball Board of Advisors. Uh, we put together a task force from that group. And there were seven members on that task force that, that really helped us uh, shape and, and mold these new guidelines. And as I had mentioned previously, the, the primary factor for determining um, eligibility is, is where the player attends school. And so we built those out with that task force. And then we, once they approved, the seven members of that task force approved those new guidelines, those guidelines were then presented to the 21 member MYBA Basketball Board of Advisors. And that body took a vote um, to, to put those in place for the upcoming season. We shared the new guidelines with them and that 21 member Board of Advisors voted unanimously to put those in place for the upcoming season. And as soon as that vote was made um, early this summer, we, we shared those with the association leaders and asked them to share those with the families within their association so everybody could uh, plan appropriately for the upcoming season. So it was really a, a group effort and by no means was it just MYAS putting something out that, that we felt was right. Um, we got a lot of valuable feedback from that task force and, and board of advisors and, and they brought up situations that were unique to them within their uh, own association, uh, you know, based on their geographics or where they were located. Associations have to uh, encounter some different situations. So, so their feedback was, was very valuable. And uh, again, how could someone access those new guidelines? Those are also posted on the website, uh, myas.org, and go to the MYBA page on that site.